Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hi! Welcome! I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back! Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. This is one of the new releases this week and this kit along with the other new releases are going to be released on Diamond Art Club's website tomorrow, which is Saturday, August 27th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you happen to be in the Ruby or Diamond tier of their rewards program, you will get an early access window of half an hour <laughs> for these releases. So that'll happen beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern. If you'd like to take a look at all of the new releases coming this week, be sure to follow Diamond Art Club on social media. But hopefully this more in-depth unboxing is going to help you decide if this kit is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend. So thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with all of you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here today I have for you this absolutely adorable kit from Hannah Lynn. This is Starfire and Aspen and is so adorable. I cannot get over it. Oh my goodness. Now this kit is going to have round diamonds in it. Um, it says here on the sticker as well as all the pink branding here is what Diamond Art Club uses for their round diamond kits. On the back there's info about how to diamond paint some info about the kit contents and then if you flip it over to the side this qr code will take you to a discount code for 10 percent off your purchase you're going to see a number of discount codes in this video alone i'll also mention that if you are brand new to diamond art club that i have a 20 percent off coupon code you're welcome to use it is just my name katie k-a-t-i-e and the number 20. please don't feel obligated to, to use it because it's actually an affiliate code i am affiliated with diamond art club uh, and so i may make a small commission but that always goes straight back into my channel so thank you if you do use it like I said though please don't feel obligated I am going to show you a bunch of different coupon codes in this video and um, you can usually find some in the Facebook group the VIP Facebook group um, in the mobile app there's lots of places that you can find to take advantage so here are our kit contents here we have a toolkit this is the newer version of the toolkit there are a couple of versions floating around right now. There's not a hard and fast way to know which one you are going to get, but either way, it's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. Diamond Art Club is just transitioning this newer toolkit in that has a couple of extra bonus goodies included. So uh, first, you're going to get a basic pen and squishy. We're also going to get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try placing more than one diamond at a time. You can just pop one in the end of your pen if you like. <laughs> and then you're also gonna get some wax. It comes in this heart caddy. And there is a thin plastic film on the top here. Be sure to peel that off before you try to load up your pen. We also have a tray and a stopper. Both are clear with gold sparkles. <laughs> and then you're also gonna get some baggies if you want to kit up into these or store your leftover diamonds in once you're done with your kit. You'll notice uh, that this kit does not come with tweezers since this kit has round shaped diamonds instead of square. Uh, that is why there are no tweezers. Diamond Art Club only includes tweezers if the kit you're getting has square shaped diamonds in it. These two bits here, these are exclusive to the newer toolkits. Uh, so this is a roll of washi tape and this over here is a cover minder. These will vary in terms of print and style. Now, what you use a cover minder for is there are magnets on the back. You can take the one magnet off, slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on, and then put the canvas back down, peel back the plastic cover, set the top part on top of the plastic cover, and that is going to hold back the plastic cover of the section you're working on until you're done working on it. This is actually a really cute one. <laughs> like I said, the style is gonna vary. Some people like to collect them and see how many different ones they can find. This is washi tape. I like to use washi tape around the edges of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past the edge there. It's not gonna be covered by diamonds. Washi tape covering that up means that it's not gonna get dirt or dust stuck in there. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas. If you would like to find out more, I do have a whole video dedicated 
to how I use washi tape with my diamond paintings, how I section off my canvases and whatnot. I'll link to it in the description box down below. You're welcome to take a look if you'd like to get more info about that and other tips and tricks. Diamond Art Club includes this smaller sticker with their kits. I like to use this in my paper logbook because I like that it has the original artwork, the title and the artist's name and all of that. Some people will put this on the side of their box to help with organizing their stash. And I'm sure you could find something else creative to do with this if you like, but I like the Diamond Art Club includes those. Here we've got our branded plastic bag that has the rest of the kit contents in it. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right, you guys. So Hannah Lynn has been licensing her, arm, her artwork to Diamond Art Club for some time, and it looks so amazing as a diamond painting. And this is no exception. This is so, so, so stinking cute. So before I get into it anymore, I wanna show you guys really quick. Um, you may notice that if your canvas is, your canvas may want to roll back or stay curled up just a little bit. I will say that Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self flattening feature. They will lay flat on their own if you give them just a little bit of time. If you want to speed things along though, you can roll it backwards like this. The glue that Diamond Art Club uses on their canvases is poured glue, so it's safe to roll backwards. It's not gonna damage the canvas or the glue itself, but there we go. <laughs> if you're also uh, having trouble getting it to lay flat, you can actually peel back the plastic cover. I recommend peeling it back about halfway each direction um, and then just laying it back down and that will help it lay flat as well. Again, those are just things to help speed this along. Really, like I said, Diamond Art Club's canvases will fly, lay flat on their own if you just give them a little bit of time. How cute is that? I love it. <laughs> now, let me show you what else was included. So you are going to get a pamphlet that has a thank you note from the founder here on the front. You're also gonna have some notes about what's included in your kit a link to a beginner video. I have one of these as well, a link below. This is a link to the VIP Facebook group. It is a really, really fantastic resource and you get lots of behind the scenes info from Diamond Art Club. Once you've made your first purchase, definitely join that, that Facebook group. Here are some written out step-by-step -step instructions for you and then some tips and tricks. Here is yet another discount code and then here are QR codes that will take you to the mobile app on your mobile device. So definitely want to point out that you actually do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So you can be strategic with your discount codes and <laughs> try to maximize how much you're able to save for sure. Diamond Art Club also includes this larger sticker sheet. There's the title of the original artwork. Again, this is Starfire and Aspen by Hannah Lynn. A lot of her artwork that has like the, the female subject and then an animal has this kind of title format, which I think is so cute. Spot to write your start and end date. Here's a look at the original artwork again. That is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Round diamonds, the size on it is 28 by 20 inches or 71 by 51 centimeters. It looks like we're gonna have a total of 49 colors in this kit. And then this is a set of pre-cut stickers for you. Them being pre-cut is just convenient because then when you're kitting up, you can just peel them off one at a time and it's very, it makes it go very quickly and, and easy as well. The color code you see here, this is the DMC color code, which is consistent across the board. Most diamond painting companies do use this with their kits. You'll see this same color code used with all of Diamond Art Club's kits in particular. It's the same color code that um, goes with DMC floss, which is used in cross stitch. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we're gonna have four of those in this kit. I will tell you all about that special diamond once we're actually looking at the diamonds here in just a bit. First though, let me take you on a little tour of this adorable canvas. So here at the top, we have their branding. Do it makes you sparkle. sparkle. <laughs> I've done that a lot before. Do it makes you sparkle, Dar Diamond Art Club. <laughs> and uh, the edges, you can see they are scalloped. They're also finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying with the Diamond Art Club canvas. Um, the material on the canvas itself. So it's really, really soft and almost velvety on the back. And it's a really, um, forgiving and plush material. It's really sturdy, but it's also really 
like malleable, which to me is like the perfect combination, especially with the poured glue that they use on their canvases, which is um, a really high quality. It holds diamonds well, but it's also very forgiving. It's kind of springy. It's just really, really enjoyable to diamond paint on a Diamond Art Club canvas. Uh, here at the top left, we have a legend. You're gonna find that same legend over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, here is all the info about the artwork. So there's the thumbnail, the title, the size, and then of course the artist's name with this ever important symbol, copyright. So Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their artwork. That means that Hannah Lynn has both given her permission for the use of this artwork by Diamond Art Club and is also being fairly compensated by Diamond Art Club for the use of her artwork. So I really, really appreciate that Diamond Art Club is doing right by artists and I'll always shout them out. Uh, here we have links to Diamond Art Club socials. Be sure to follow them there so that you can stay up to date with their new releases coming up another discount code. <laughs> and here at the bottom right, you've got info about their lifetime warranty. If you run out of any colors, if you run into any trouble, like if there's a spot on your canvas that doesn't seem to be sticky with glue, anything at all, you're covered under that lifetime warranty as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit. You can just contact Diamond Art Club's customer service and they'll get you taken care of. Let's take a look at the drill field together. Now, Hannah Lynn kits tend to have oodles and oodles and oodles of black outlining that's very characteristic for her artwork and truly I think translates beautifully to Diamond Art Club's rendering style. Look at this adorable face. I love this kitty's face. Um, I love all the space motifs up here at the top. How gorgeous and how fun would it be to get matching accessories for this kit as well. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of black diamonds in this kit. The nice thing though is that means that you have some color blocking um, where you'll be, where you have sections like this here. We've got a bunch of that black symbol with a white dot there. You could maybe call that color blocking. A better example though is down here where we were looking just a minute ago. Lots of the same color in this small section. That's what we call color blocking. Areas like that, you'll be able to use your multi-placer and you'll have that color in your tray for a little while. Areas like that tend to go pretty quickly compared to areas um, which by contrast have lots of confetti. Maybe a good example is here like in her eye. There's a lot more color changes in a small area even though that's really not that bad. Uh, that you'll mostly be single placing and changing out the colors in your trays a bit more often. There's some other examples in here as well of some more confetti. Um, I really like to have a good mix of both in my kits because um, Confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving, and I, so I need both. <laughs> Let's do a really quick measurement and see if we are true to size. So we're at 70 and a half centimeters, and this is listed as 71, so we're about half a centimeter shy, left to right, and we are at 50 and a half centimeters top to bottom. So we are about half a centimeter short each direction. I am still gonna call that true to size because that's well within the margin of error, and yeah, I give companies a centimeter or two as far as that goes. Let's take a look at the diamonds. So here's our pack of diamonds. The title of the artwork and um, the model number it, are on here. So you can easily match these up later if you happen to store your diamonds separate from the canvas. Let's take a look. Here is our gorgeous color spread get into it so these are all heat sealed packs so you'll have to cut open uh, these bags to get into the diamonds I like to kit them up into storage containers some people like to kit up into baggies whatever works for you here we have that 310 that black color look how sparkly these are so we have one two three four five bags of this black 310 602 two bags of 712 646, 648, two bags of 648, 600, 754, 38, 11, 844, 37, 66, 807 with a little straggler in there, 955, 498, 796. 
So I'm in our club roughly puts their diamonds in order of weight. So from the most to the least, it's not, it's not exact, but it's roughly <laughs> that, that way. Uh, here we have some really vibrant colors. These pops of color are really, really gonna stand out, I think, beautifully. There we go, $37.99 has a couple of stragglers from the next bag over. <laughs> And you guys, here we go with our first AB diamond, 113. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these get their name from the Northern Lights. Just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty shimmery, shimmery um, iridescent kind of effect, like almost a color shift effect, uh, that's what's going on with these diamonds. They have a special iridescent coating on the top that makes them sparkle just that much more than regular diamonds do. It's gonna highlight the areas it's been charted. Um, it's gonna dry your eye to those areas and even pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them. So that's our first AB. Our second AB is right next to it, 132, a pretty orange AB. And I will take some time here. After we look at all the diamonds, I'm gonna take some time to show you exactly where our ABs are gonna go on this canvas. Our last strand here with the smaller amounts of diamonds. 742, 666, 718, 906. 130, there's our third AB, a really, really pretty yellow AB. Love that. 823, 3836, 211, 744, 3607, and 125. That is an off-white AB. There's just a tiny, tiny hint of mint to this color. Another little straggler purple drill in there. Uh, but it's an off-white. It's not a true white. It's, uh, yeah, almost a tiny hint of mint to it. All right, that's our fourth and final AB. A 3746, 604, 155, 351, 352, 3835, and 3348. So let's take a look together and find where those four ABs are going to go, starting down here at the bottom. Uh, so the pink AB is doing a little bit of highlighting in her hair. The lightest pink that you see on the screen. Yep like there and there, that is our pink AB. So her hair is gonna have those pretty highlights going on in it. And the tiger's nose has some pink ABs along the top. That's so adorable, I love that. I wanna take a look. I don't think we have any of that off-white AB in the tiger's, um, the white on the tiger, but I just wanted to look. Or maybe the whiskers, not that I can see. Just wanna make sure I don't overlook it. So going back over, okay, so here in her eyes, the centers of her eyes are that really pretty off-white AB. And then, ooh, I missed in her hair. Okay, so the orange in her hair, not the yellow, but the orange, the light orange that you see, that is our orange AB. That's gonna be super, super pretty <laughs> in here. It's just weaving in and out through her hair along with the pink AB. So her hair is overall just gonna have this really pretty, almost like shimmery, like peaks of highlights coming out. Here's some orange and pink ABs here and here as well. And then I haven't seen any of our yellow AB yet. That's because it's gonna be up in outer space. <laughs> so the center of the star, um, the entire moon, and the center of this star, those are all yellow ABs. That's gonna be really, really, really pretty. And make sure that I'm not missing any. Some of the orange AB can be found on this planet over here. Oh, okay, so the off-white AB, is these twinkling stars in the background of the night sky. Um, but I know there's a little bit of glare here, but most of these twinkles, these little bunches of white that I'm pointing to, these dots, is anywhere from one to four diamonds. And almost all of those are that pretty off-white AB. That's gonna be really, that's gonna be a really pretty effect, I think. There's a tiny bit of the yellow AB here at the bottom of this particular planet. And... I think that is it as far as our ABs go. So love the AB placement. I think it's really, really nice. I think it's super, super 
cute and suits the artwork very well. You guys, this kit is so adorable. And I think that Hannah Lynn kits are incredibly beginner friendly. And a lot of people I feel like are familiar with Hannah Lynn, especially if they do uh, coloring because she's done a lot of coloring books and whatnot. I'll link to her Instagram so you can can check her out. Diamond Art Club has licensed quite a lot of her artwork for diamond paintings and they turn out beautifully. So, so incredibly beautifully. So even if you are um, not necessarily new to diamond painting. You can't go wrong with a Hannah Lynn. This looks like it's been rendered absolutely beautifully. I think her hair is incredible. Her eyeshadow is goals. And I love, love, love the planetary and like solar system uh, themes going on at the top. This is a gorgeous kit, you guys. So let me give you a really quick recap. This is Starfire and Aspen. It's from Diamond Art Club, licensed from artist Hannah Lynn. It is 71 by 51 centimeters, which is a totally, totally um, accessible size, I think. It has 40, 49 colors, so it's quite colorful, with four ABs in total. The rendering looks amazing, and all the usual suspects look fantastic as far as quality and everything goes. So this kit, along with the other new releases this week, are going to go live on Diamond Art Club's website tomorrow, which is um, Saturday, August 27th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And remember, if you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get that half an hour early access window. So happy shopping. One other quick note though I wanted to mention is just that we don't necessarily know which kits are going to be limited edition ahead of time. If a kit is marked as limited edition, that means that once it sells out, it will not be restocked. Um, so I highly recommend if this kit, if this is one you're on the fence about, and especially if it's one that you know that you want, uh, check in at release time, right at release time, just in case, because I don't want you to miss out just in case it is limited edition. Handling is pretty popular. It may sell out quickly if it is. So uh, check in at release time. Best of luck to you if you're shopping. You guys, I really hope that this sneak peek was helpful and helped you decide if you're going to be shopping this weekend for this kit. Be sure to check out the other sneak peeks from my fellow wonderful content creators this week. And thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending us over. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? That always really helps me. And of course, if you're not already subscribed and would like to see lots more diamond painting content from me. I would love to have you. Feel free to subscribe and you can hit the you can even hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have an amazing weekend. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.